all your legs. Feet pedaling, water guzzling, and lots of sweating. These people are not just cycling for a good workout, but to combat cancer. Such a great cause, and I actually have several family members who um, have passed away, um, and one right now that's currently dealing with it. So. Patty Huberty was one of 50 participants at the Cycling Against Cancer, but was also a co-instructor for the cycling journey. Students use bikes to get themselves across campus, which is a great exercise, but imagining participating in four 50-minute grueling cycling sessions, which you're not cycling for yourself, you're cycling for the health of another individual. Valerie Fagan, who was also a participant, said that she was riding for two family members who have cancer. One of them is a five-year survivor in cancer and brain cancer, and the other is somebody who started out with breast cancer and now has had a reoccurrence. The money raised from the event will go to local cancer patients to help them pay for items such as food, transportation, utilities, and medication. Now, if you missed this year's event, Executive Director Kimberly Leibowitz of the Cancer Foundation of Northeast Georgia says that she plans to host this event again next year. We're going to move it up maybe a little earlier next year, maybe January or February when it's a little too cold to be riding outside. Towards the end of the final cycling session, Huberty says that she became emotional at times because of what this event represents. There were actually moments of, um, uh, why don't you sit on the bike and keep cycling? Where I got kind of teary-eyed and um, thinking about uh, all the good that this is doing. She also added that she'll be back again next year to ride again. In Athens, Wes Clark, Grady News Source.